So when we start to look at how this is going to be able to help supplement our patient for their, their oxygenation. So, you know, we just went over how to assemble this tank. So we come, we open up the tank. What we want to do is now we're going to attach this to our delivery device. So we've got our O2 wrench ready to go. This is our non rebreather. So we'll lay this down until we're ready to use it. This bag here is what we call a reservoir bag. And it's the same, we have a reservoir bag on our, our BVM. This is what's going to inflate with oxygen. And this is now when the patient breathes, they're going to inhale this oxygen, okay? This is why when we put them on a non-rebreather, we need to set it to high flow oxygen. We need it at least to be eight or above. If we set it less to eight, what happens is this bag will refill and now they'll take a breath. And now the problem is when they go to take that next breath, there hasn't been enough flow for this bag to refill in between breaths. So now they're not getting any oxygen, okay? Simple mask, it secures around the head and we'll show you how to, to put this on, okay? So a lot of times we need to kind of compress this down. This is our one-way valve and that allows for this bag to deliver oxygen. The patient will breathe it in. When they exhale, the carbon dioxide and the, the waste of respiration will exit. So now they're not rebreathing that, okay? This comes with the tubing already attached to the non-rebreather. And when we look at our other end of this, we have our, our tubing that now, like we talked about, is going to attach to the, the nipple port here. So we wanna make sure that that's on nice and snug. Okay, all of our breathing stuff, one time use, so this would be in package until we're ready to use it. And then once you pull it out, you're not gonna put it down on the, on the ambulance, you're not gonna put it on the bench seat. You wanna make sure that we keep this right where we want to. So we're gonna open this up. We're gonna set this to 15 liters. So that high flow oxygen. And now what we're gonna to start to watch is when we close this port, now we start to see this bag inflate, okay? If I don't close that one-way valve, this bag won't inflate. So now we have this ready to go. Now this would deliver oxygen. We're gonna lay down our tank. Secure this to the patient and be able to have them get supplemental oxygen. If they were claustrophobic and they weren't able to keep this on their, on their face, they can do blow by, so they can put it up to them. They can hold it. Some patients may be more comfortable bringing it up, taking a breath. Again, we don't wanna fight them on this. What we wanna do is, you know, we're trying to supplement them. So if it's making them more anxious to have it, you know, secured to their face, then what we'll do is we'll allow them to use that blow by. And then when they become a little bit more comfortable, now we'll be able to kind of secure that. So we turn our tank off, close it out. And then we bleed our tank. We lay it down. We're done with the patient. We disconnect. And we get rid of all of our, our device. And the tank's now secured and ready for the next time that we need it. Okay, so the non rebreather we looked at when we were demonstrating with our O2 tank how to get this reservoir back to fill up. So again, we have our adult or our PD non rebreather. This is going to be that high flow oxygen. So this then attached to our oxygen tank. We close this one-way valve, we watch this reservoir bag inflate. You always wanna make sure that the reservoir bag is inflated before you put it on your patient, okay? So when we put this on the patient, we get the reservoir bag full, and this is where now we need to have that high flow. So, uh, you know, anything greater than eight, you know, but usually we were putting them on, you know, 12 to 15 liters per minute, supplementing their oxygen. And this is where now, you know, we wanna be able to get this in place. So it's a simple mask. This is where now this sits. We come over the nose. This is gonna secure around the back of the head. And then we have a, a little cinch here that will come to help keep it in place over the nose. This bag is inflated, and then we're able to secure this gently. You wanna make sure any time that we're giving the patient oxygen that you know this is a good, good seal, that this is cinched off so that it's not delivering oxygen into their eyes. So we wanna make sure that those are protected. And then this again would be for, for supplemental oxygen. So this would not be if the patient was breathing inadequately, we'd have to use our BVM. But if we're gonna supplement and put them on high flow oxygen, we have somebody who's breathing on their own. They still have the, the, the ability to deliver air down to the alveoli. This is gonna help with that oxygenation, you know, for our patients who have, you know, uh, we're looking at, you know, hypoxia that we're trying to reverse for them.